father. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, and of course you were talking mm -hmm. about this earlier in a sense about the devil, you touched on mm -hmm. feeling deceived by the devil, appearing as an angel of light. At what point can we mm -hmm. recognize the devil for who he is in this situation? Is it when we're feeling overwhelmed? Yeah, how do we discern? We, we hear that all the time, Father. How do I discern what exactly is happening? It looks like an angel of light, but maybe it's mm -hmm. not. At what point can I tell? How do I tell? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Ignatius gave, uh, you know, a couple of really good pieces of it. St. Ignatius Loyola, who was the founder of the Jesuits, wrote this, you know, a little tractate on the discernment of spirits in his spiritual exercises. But to make a, a very long story short, the first thing you want to do is if you're f overwhelmed, could be a sign of the angel of light. But, you know, first things first, check out the natural causes. Are you under some kind of a stress, right? You know, have you kind of gotten off the tracks a little bit yourself, you know, in your life? You know, is, is there some kind of a psychological, uh, uh, you know, a problem that you're, you're contending with, dealing with, and so forth? So get the natural causes out of the picture first, you know, before you go to a spiritual cause. You know, and of mm -hmm. course, grace does build on nature in so many different Different ways but you know the main thing that you, you want to do is just make sure there's not a natural cause that explains it but if there isn't a natural cause uh, that explains it then that feeling of being overwhelmed you know you look at the first spiritual cause did I get off the tracks am I kind of you know moving somewhere you know that that's kind of uh, you know uh, um, well <laughs> away from God away right, from love right. away from the Beatitudes and if I am moving away I got to get you know quote unquote my act together. I got to get back on track. I got to ask the Lord for, for reconciliation, for forgiveness, and of course get my act together. But if it's not that, if you really looked at it and you say, well, it's, it's not that, then where are, what are you left with? I, then I would look for three signs, says St. Ignatius Loyola. Number one, are you increasing in the trust in God or are you decreasing in trust in God? Are you increasing in hope in your salvation? Or are you decreasing in hope in your salvation? Are you increasing in your ability to love spontaneously? Or are you decreasing in your ability to love spontaneously? So if, if, if what Ignatius is saying is trust, hope, and love, right? Like faith, hope, and love. If your trust in God is waning and you've been doing good things and, and you've been trying to stay on track and things are going well, and all of a sudden you find, you know, you're, you're ready to run for cover. You think that God is one of those gods we've just been talking about, right? The payback God, the angry God, the terrifying God, the disgusted God, right? The, the stoic God and so forth, right? You know, the I hate you God. You know, if that's what you've got, then yes, <laughs> you have really been deceived. And you've got to, as St. Ignatius says, you've got to start going back and looking back to what you started to do, decisions you started to make, things you started to do, um, or, or even believe or think. Maybe you read a theology book and it got you off on the wrong track. Whatever it may be, mm -hmm. if you see that trust in God waning and you see those wrong notions of God that we just talked about starting to appear, beware. There, that's a real sign of the angel of light. Secondly, if you see your hope and your salvation decreasing, so if you really, you know, and I, I say this with a smirk on my face, but if you're thinking that God is up in heaven going, Spitzer, hmm, heaven, <laughs> hell, heaven, hell, <laughs> oh, hell, and he's completely <laughs> indifferent to your salvation, something is wrong. Mm -hmm. Th that's not the father of the prodigal son. That's not the right notion of God. Something is amiss. And if you've been doing r the good things and you've been trying to stay on the, on the course of, of, of virtue and prayer and, and all of a sudden you're thinking these horrible things, it's another incredibly important sign you have been deceived. Again, says Ignatius, go back. Go back to what you were thinking, what you were deciding, what books you might have been reading, what you started to believe, even in pious thinking, right? When, when could that might have happened, right? So, you know, somehow you might have read a book and you might have thought, oh, well, you know, um, I don't know. If, if in doubt, then it's a mortal sin. Mm. Well, nobody can live that way. You know, I, I could doubt 
everything, and uh, therefore my life would be a, a catalog of mortal sins. And my life is a catalog of mortal sins, I'm for sure going to hell. And of course, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. uh, it's not going to be surprising if you come up with the thought, gee, God is indifferent to my salvation, right? You know, God, you know, is, is right. uh, you know, and you lose your hope, and of course, you're, you're moving into despair. Now, if you're moving into despair, you're moving, you're not moving in the direction of the Holy Spirit.